At this point, I think we've all realized that Shang-Chi doesn't really need the Chinese audience or the market or the release there to be considered a success. Of course, if it did secure that release, this would be a completely different topic on exactly how big the film is. Now, China chose not to release the film due to controversial comments and wanting to not highlight what the actor said. But recently, we actually found out that Chinese Americans that have seen the film that were polled and even people in China that got to see the film through whatever means outlets got them to see the film through actually really like it and don't consider the general consensus of what was said before to be a problem. Most of you know that even before the quote unquote controversial comments were made by the star of Shang-Chi and various people involved with the project at different levels, there was always this sort of a strange, for lack of a better term, I think, perception of Shang-Chi in China. And that's very early on from casting announcements that China did not want the film to release in China and they didn't care for it because the Chinese general audience and Chinese Americans did not find the main stars of the films to be attractive. That was the consensus. They didn't find Simu Wu attractive. They don't find Aquafina attractive. So therefore, Marvel needs to consider recasting. Yes, this was an issue back then. We talked about this in the past. It's insane, but it was. And that the film would have trouble in China. Now, Chinese audiences are responding to the film. The castings and the whole idea of the film being centered around trying to, quote, exploit China unquote by Disney which of course every single market is trying to get their films into China naturally Shang-Chi was a character that has that connection so it was easy for Marvel to be like well let's just make a Shang-Chi movie that will sell good in China of course it's not going to China well apparently the Chinese people don't necessarily um I guess agree with the majority or perceived majority of back then again the information that comes out of there is always controlled but chinese americans are loving this film look at the polls and what they're saying look at the reception and now we're hearing that chinese people that got to see it probably once they got out of the country or were going to the country from vacation or something they got to see it and they love it. they said they're fine with the actors they're fine with the portrayal and they actually think it would be beneficial if they released a film in china because chinese audiences would understand that it's a film made for Chinese people that celebrates them instead of insulting them. But again, there, due to control of the media, they believe otherwise. So it's interesting to see how this whole thing is affecting this film. And honestly, at this point, I think Marvel's just not even going to try pretty soon to release in China. They're just going to go, you know what, who cares? Let's just focus in other territories and put them there. I mean, look at Star Wars, for example. They tried so hard with China. China doesn't like Star Wars. They never have. So they rejected it. Now they're not even focusing on it. And I think Marvel could just honestly stand to benefit not spending marketing there on a gamble and just sink that money back into marketing where it counts, which is domestically.